In question two of this series, we'll learn how to measure cardiac output with integrals. The question reads, a six milligram dye is injected into the right atrium. This is the right atrium. The concentration of the dye in milligrams per liters is measured in the aorta at two second intervals as shown in the table. The aorta is this part of the heart right here. We have to estimate the cardiac output using Simpson's rule, which is shown right here. In case you're not familiar with this rule, this is a technique for approximating the definite integral of a function using parabolas. The first thing that we will do to calculate the cardiac output is find out what delta x is. To find out delta x, we'll use this formula where b represents our upper bound and a represents our lower bound. So we'll go from 24 to 2. Delta x is equal to 24 minus 2. That is equal to 22, and we'll divide that by the number of observations. So from 2 to 24, that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 22 divided by 12 is 11 over 6. And we're going to take this number now and divide it by 3. If we divide this by 3, we should end up with 2 over 3. So our function can be the integral between 0 and 24, c of t dt, is equal to, or approximately equal to, 2 over 3, square bracket, start over here, c at 0, plus 4c at 2, and I'm using this table, plus 2 times c at 4, plus 4 times c at 6, and we'll continue this all the way to 24. And finally, plus c at 24, close bracket. Notice that we went from 4, 2, 4, 2 in this repeating pattern up until the very last term where it had no coefficient at the front, just as shown right here. Now the hard part, we have to evaluate all of these outputs shown here. So once again, we'll have to use the table and find out what the output at c at 0 is, which is 0, plus 4 times 1.9, plus 2 times 3.3, plus 4 at c6, which is 5.1, and we'll continue doing this, and if you write it out correctly, you should end up with the following expression. Now, if you use your calculator to find out the answer to this expression, you should end up with the following number, 127.8, and don't forget to multiply this number by 2 over 3. So let's write out what we know. Our output, cardiac output, is the amount of dye, which was 6 milligrams, over C at T, Remember, this is C at T between 0 and 24. 127.8 times 2 over 3 gives us the following. 6 divided by 127.8 times 2 over 3 gives us 5 over 71, which is approximately 0 0.070 liters per second. And so there you have it. That is how to use the Simpsons rule to measure the cardiac output using integrals.